My fellow gamers, what is up? This is the homeboy master gamer. I'm so sorry it's been a while that I done the commentaries, you know, stuff in the personal life, dealing with school, making sure my projects are all turned in, you know, balancing everything out. But I'm back now and I'm ready to hit y'all with another commentary. Um, I know, I, I believe, yeah, I have, I think I have Battlefield 4 running in the background, but this commentary I'm going to talk about is us gamers in general. And I sort of feel like we are growing stupid as a community when it comes to games in general. Now, now I'm not generally calling everybody stupid, but you know, it's just those gamers that think uh, something is when something is broadcast in a higher quality of high definition that automatically changes the game and everything else around it making it next generation when that's clearly not the case the only thing that has been done is just a couple added lighting effects have been added to the game to make it look a little bit more brighter and so much of realism as the developer tries to get and the thing about it is we eat this crap up like it's candy like we really feed and buy into this and i sit up and just look at how much we have differed from when it comes to video games, we we accept the minimum, the bare minimum nowadays. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Pretty much everybody has seen it. What Infinity War did with the ending of Call of Duty Ghosts, they pretty much ripped the same frame rate in scene from Modern Warfare 2. And I know most gamers look at it like, oh, well, so what they took that from and who actually sits up and takes their time out to actually sit up and research that they ripped the same scene from a previous game they made before. But you should actually care about that. And the reason why I say that is now game developer thinks it's okay when it comes to the story aspect of telling game that they can rip from any any game that they so choose to copy and paste it and put it in the same game. And we won't give a damn or say two words about it. And that's just really lazy. When I saw that on my Twitter timeline, I was like, Call of Duty is most definitely going to crap. It, it may not go to crap right now, but eventually down the line, after three years, when people get tired of playing the same game over and over again, Activision is going to have to throw that out the window. And I know they're betting on that. I know they are really, really trying to throw Call of Duty out the window because I think they really, even though it's their biggest money maker, I think their developers are getting a little bit tired of feeding the same shit to us over and over again. So I think they're trying to ultimately bomb out Call of Duty so that it is, you know, not eligible to play anymore when they keep on adding more of this dumb shit. And the next thing I want to talk about is with these next gen consoles, they sit up and say the Xbox One is going to be a mid now 720p with all their games, and the PlayStation 4 is going to be a mid now on 1080p with all their games. Now, the first thing everybody got all up in arms with that was planning on getting the Xbox One is why is it only a mid now 720p? Well, first things first, let's look at something. If you got an HD TV that emits out 720p worth of video, then that's what is going to be presented to you. Now, you have PlayStation 4 as a good example. When it comes to a t 720 um, HD t um, television, it's only going to show out video quality up to 720 if that's the TV's max. It doesn't matter if your system is emitting out 1080p, it's all going to be focused on whether or not your TV can kick out that many pixels of the lighting and shadowing that they added to the game. If it can't, then what was the point of you buying the system and your TV only kicks out 720? Now, needless to say, probably a lot of gamers out there has a, you know, at least a 1080 flat screen TV, but there are some gamers out there that only have 1080, that only has 720, or may not even have an HD TV. And you guys don't take into the fact is that okay it's broadcasting at a higher video output but if you don't have the TV that can put out that output then you basically sort of wasted your money on a system that can't really give you your full quality of graphics and I'm getting sick and tired of people saying these graphics are next gen because they're not next gen these aren't next gen my version of next gen is when they finally be able to take us and put us in a virtual reality set and we actually able to fill the whole entire game world that's my version of next gen this crap is just added tweaks that's all these games are is nothing but tweaks and stupid excuses for them to sit up and say well in order for us to run this new type of engine we need the graphics card to be updated 
okay, yeah, you want the graphics card to be upgraded, and the only thing that you're going to do differently is just add how much lighting and shadow texture that you have in your game. Other than that, it's still using the same basic comp core game elements. Either it's a first-person shooter where you turn the camera and you shoot an object, or it's a escort mission where you have to escort the NPC or whoever to point A to point B, and that has not changed since the coming of games even back out when the genesis the n64 the nes the dreamcast they all use the same basic elements that still have not changed the only thing you guys have done so far is just try to make them as realistic as possible but you guys are not going to reach that not in this current age of time we're not going to reach nowhere near realism as they trying to so-called shoot for with this next gen and another funny thing i find funny about it is Microsoft even sat up and said it themselves that they hope to make the Xbox One last at least 10 years. So if it so-called does last these next 10 years, this is 2013, so around 2023, they're hoping to bust out the 9th gym, which is so-called going to be a lot better than what this gen is. Now, if I got the gens mixed up, my bad, I don't really give a damn about which generation. They all are still the generation to me. Only type of generation link that I would count is from the the N64 day, PlayStation 1 days. But you know, graphic, I can say that's when we get improvement into the next generation because we stopped working with you know 2D sprites and 2D dimensions and we started going into 3D modeling and it really brought a whole new turn. That's what I would call next generation. This, this is just next generation 2.0 or 2.5 or whatever the hell you want to call it. It's no difference in change when it can, when it comes to these next gen consoles and we all need to get out of that mentality thinking that it is when it really is not. And if we keep believing that that it is, then Microsoft and Sony is just going to continuously be running circles around us, taking our money every year around Christmas or Black Friday time whenever you choose to go buy your system. And they're going to be laughing all the way to the bank while we sit up and squabble saying, oh, uh, 720 is a lot better than y'all PS4. Well, our PS4 can emit video out at 1080p while y'all little piece of shit Xbox Bone only sends out about 720p and they're sitting up just laughing their asses off because they know when it come around in the so-called next 10 years when they say for the life expectancy of the Xbox One that they're going to kick out another version of it and they're going to say it's so-called a lot better and I don't honestly believe that gamers we need to get our head straight we need to stop binding on this media bullshit and actually try to convince Microsoft and Sony to make us some consoles that's actually going to last longer and get the developers to actually want to make current generation games the same instead of trying to fall into this bullshit of saying well we need the graphics card to be updated in order for us to make something better and when I look at that I can't say that they can't use that as an excuse anymore because if you look at Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto 5 that recently came out back in September that game looks amazing even though it's they said it on this current gen it looks amazing I don't want to hear nothing else from no other game developers sitting up saying well we need this this and that in order to run this new engine on our on for the uh, for the next gen well as you can see that rockstar made it possible that it's still possible to actually have a good looking game on this current generation you just need to have the time and devotion to want to do it if you don't have that time and devotion that you want to do it then that just shows you that you don't really care about your fans and that you really want to just get it for the money but well, this has been the homie ng i hope you like the commentary it feels good to be back i'm planning on releasing more in the weeks to come um i hope you guys enjoyed it peace <laughs>